हेलो एवरीवन आई एम दत्तात्रेय निकम वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन आवर चैनल ई फंडा फॉर न्यू डे न्यू टॉपिक एंड आवर टुडे टॉपिक इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ एच वी कंट्रोल्स पार्ट 25 ए वन एज दिस इज अ कंटिन्यूस सीरीज ऑफ आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो दैट इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ एच वी सिस्टम्स एंड हियर वी आर गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट दिस इन पार्ट सो एज टू कवर द टॉपिक इन डिटेल एंड If you are new to our channel, then please visit to our channel eFunda and watch all the videos created on various topics for which the separate playlist are created and publish on our channel eFunda. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press bell icon to get the latest notification on upload of our new video on our channel eFunda. Also, eFunda team has created a membership option. Just press the join button and. do get the membership and other benefits along with the first notification to you so let's begin with our today's topic that is understanding of hvac controls part 25 a1 before we proceed into the detail video of understanding of hvac system let's understand in a brief what is hvac system hvac is a system which can keep your premises either heated or cooled based on the conditions where the h stand for heating that means whenever the heating is required it can be produced and then v stand for ventilation keeping the ventilation means keeping the fresh air into your surrounding or the premises where you are looking to have the systems and then finally ac is the air conditioning this is what the complete meaning of a hvac system that is heating ventilation and air conditioning now we will see the details of this hvac systems introduction to hvac controls hvac equipment need a control system to regulate the operation of a heating or air conditioning system usually a sensing device is used to compare the actual state that is a temperature with a target state one can refer to the picture where one can see the detail of the hvac system implementation starting from the top that is a dedicated outside air system then heating hot water piping along with a boiler and a motor and vfd are being used then further below level is the fan control unit then fan coil unit then below the differential pressure transmitter that is a analog input that is a mechanical room then the chilled water piping and then further again fan coil unit and the relief air is also shown and then finally at the bottom corner you can see how the classroom is being maintained the temperature with the help of this hvac system there are various types of sensors are being employed so this is our today's video will take you to the hvac controls the hvac control system is a computerized mechanical or a mechanism that adjust the heating air conditioning and ventilation components within a building it can be used to turn a furnace or air conditioner on or off or simply adjust the temperature and other settings of the unit this is what we are going to cover in our today's topic hvac controls the control element include sensors then controllers and the control devices that is a valve actuator and a valve one can refer to the sensors where temperature pressure humidity and motion sensors controller is a pneumatic type or a direct digital controller and the actuator is a dampers and valve are required to be there as part of the hvac control scheme these days controllers are upgraded to the plc based control system as well for better understanding one can refer to the typical block diagram for the hvac controls where elements are divided into inputs electronic controller final control devices here in a input main sensor that is a hot water supply outdoor air sensor then a remote set point adjustment 
and to the controller these are input elements are connected with the help of ac power input controller is working then it is going to the final control devices where the return air from the system then from boiler and then further hot water supply to heating systems are being shown this is how the typically the hvac control system work component of a hvac system one can refer to the picture where you can see the various components and function are shown here the components are involved in the entire hvac systems are heating system the purpose of this heating unit is to add the thermal heat into the conditioned space for purpose of either raising or maintaining the temperature of the defined or space allocated next is the cooling the process of removing the thermal energy that is a heat from the conditioned space for the purpose of lowering or maintaining the temperature of the space that means once the room is uh, heated or heat is there when the cooling process start it will help to remove the heat from that space humidifying the process of adding water uh, vapor that is a uh, moisture to the air into the condition space for the purpose of raising or maintaining the moisture content of the air so that the co cooling will be maintained then the next is the dehumidifier system or the process of removing vapor moisture to the air into the condition space for the purpose of raising or maintaining the moisture content of that particular air which is been circulated into the condition space then the last is the main is the cleaning the process of removing the particulates that means dust or any other biological contaminants insects pollen etc or uh, any other objective from the air delivered to the confined space where the hvac system is installed for the purpose of improving or maintaining the air quality within the conditioned space where the hvac system is placed into the figure one can see the various components are installed for measurement or uh, sensing elements are at is the air temperature control and a sensing point rh is the relative humidity control and a sensing point fr is the air flow rate control and a sensing point io system that is a system availability control and a sensing point zh is the relative humidity sensing point rt is the radiant temperature sensing point these are the instruments or the type of a control system elements are used in hvac system further we will see the detail of operation purpose and elementary function of a hvac control system are purpose maintain environment quality through thermal comfort then indoor air quality and material protection conserve energy protect equipment for better understanding one can refer to the elementary hvac control system where the air inlet flow is inside the condition space then the heating coil and the room temperature where the temperature is sensed by the temperature sensor and then passing it to the controller there it compares the sensed temperature with the defined desired value of the set points and then control wall it is going to the heating coil so as to do the circulation the purpose of this functionality is to maintain or uh, control controlled variable then set point and the actuator this is the three functions are combined and so as to work proportionately or uh, accurately so as to maintain the hvac control system types of controllers are used proportional controller that is a p type proportional plus integral that is a pi type proportional plus integral plus derivative that is a pid type controllers are being used 
once the functionality or operation is done then the key part is of the sensor input which is connected to the controller so as to get the desired output point first is the sensor input point temperature sensor analog input pressure sensor analog input humidity sensor analog input co sensor analog input co2 sensor analog input fan status bi that is a binary input that is a digital input pump status bi boiler status bi these are input to the controller then a control devices that is to the output point supply fan on off that is a bo that is a digital output val analog output humidifier on off that is a bo pump on off that is a bo damper that is a ao vfd is a ao this is how the inputs are connected and the control output is being achieved through the controller this is how the hvac control system work and in this video we have tried to cover the basic functions or introduction to hvac control system components then their information and the components of the hvac systems and a complete hvac control systems with the help of sensor controller and then actuated devices with this we are concluding on our today's topic thanks for watching our channel e funda where you will get to know the fundamentals so that is our tagline get your fundamentals right where we do identify the needs then we evaluate the need then define plan for a particular need and then accordingly execute the plan this is what we are creating our technical videos so that it will help every individual to get their fundamentals right and if you are new to our channel then subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press bell icon to get the latest notification on upload of our new video on our channel efunda also you can follow us on our instagram page and do follow our facebook page as well so keep watching our channel efunda for new day new topic